go fire. Hello, welcome back to another vlog. Um, me and Aiden are just on our way to the sexual health clinic. Yep, I'm just as confused as you are. I had a doctor's call this morning and they said that they basically won't pursue my scans unless I go to the sexual health clinic, even though me and Aiden have only been with each other since we were 14. So that's fun. <laughs> I'm trying to laugh at it now, but I've literally been crying all morning, as you can probably see from my puffy eyes. And so yeah, I'm literally just trying to walk, find a sexual health clinic. First time I've obviously been there. Um, do a little review on TikTok. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little TikTok review. <laughs> Wait, is it gifted or is it? Yeah, hashtag gifted. Unintentionally, strategically, had a therapy session straight after all of this emotional kerfuffle. And then I just had to re-cry 7,000 times again. So we'll let you know how it goes. I'm about, to get my, I'm about to get my muff swapped. Muff. Right, skip to Tuesday. I never ended up filming after our <laughs> sexual health clinic fiasco yesterday. I was literally so drained and upset and tired. It was a whirlwind. I basically just cried all morning. <laughs> Today is a new day. I'm trying not to think about that stuff. I've semi got some stuff in place now. It was just... Yeah, very traumatic. I mean, in the sexual health clinic, I've never been in there before, obviously, because me and Aiden have been, only been each other's partners. The, like, the thing that she put inside me to look at my cervix snapped inside of me, the plastic bit. So that was fun. And she was also, like, massaging my right ovary, and I was in absolute agony. So I think something's wrong there. Anyway, today is a new day. I'm doing something so exciting. I'm going to keep this this bit in if I'm allowed to say slash if it's released but I'm bringing out my own summer drink with pot and rice so my own boba flavor I'm off today to go and experiment and find the flavors that suit me and then we've got like a photo shoot all planned for the summer months it's going to be live for three months in summer it's going to be an elephant and castle in the pot and rice store and I can't wait I've decided to go for this fun floral dress today just to be bright and summery even though it's actually looking cloudy outside, which is not ideal. My manager's coming at some point today, so she'll tr help film some behind the sip, behind the sip, behind the scenes clips if possible. I'm a little bit nervous, I think. I think sometimes I get like this though, when someone else is in control of taking the videos and photos, because usually I'm just sat here on my own doing them, but it should be fun. Let's go. <laughs> So I accidentally arrived two hours early in Elephant and Castle, but when everyone got there, we got cracking on making my boba flavor. So I tried a mix of things. We did some milky teas and some fruity teas. And as soon as I had the fruity ones, I was like, yes, this is perfect for summer. And then there was peach and I'm such a massive peach iced tea drinker. So we incorporated that with a couple of the other classic boba toppings and I feel like I've just made the perfect creation. The final creation is called Juicy Peach. You can go and grab it in store. You can go in there and order it to take away or you can have it with all of their amazing food. And honestly, you probably want to because the food in there is insane. It's easily one of the top five that I've ever tried in London. So yeah, it's, it's fully worth it. Okay, no, I haven't yet. So we can do that then. You can put the um, jelly in here, like toppings first. And then I'm gonna make the tea. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I'm gonna make the tea. So we are midway through our shooting day and um, this is where we are by the way if you want to come. I'm currently just doing some still shots of my drink. The lovely Linda was helping me put some like fruity combos together and we decided to go for my drink peach green tea, peaches, peach syrup, mango star jelly and tapioca. But yeah we're just shooting some stills of the drink and making like really fun shots. Uh, so I wanted to show you some behind the scenes because everyone's like holding up things in a weird way. There's the little fingers at the top. <laughs> Hi, Tosh. <laughs> Jump to this evening. I'm here with Hi. Miss Carrie Penzel. It's taken us about an hour and a half to get to this location when we used Good to live around the corner. She's got cowboy boots on. We're here with a Hawaiian Tropic for their Tropical collection. Get it? Tropical. And God, I'm in an annoying it's mood. really, <laughs> it's really hot. So we actually stink. So it's great that we're great. here. <laughs> last week, absolutely paralytic. Oh last time I was here. Yeah, honestly. Last time we were here, we ended up with eyebrow slits. So just think about that. Yeah, we came, we went home and slit each other's eyebrows in our old like, flat. As in. We you drank know. so much alcohol here. So we're going to try and be more professional today. It was also a work event. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, for fun. on vlog because I did a fucking like time lapse and it's, I was talking to PRs like absolutely fucked. Like, 
Luckily, we're necking, friends with them. Necking police, <laughs> arteries, like poultry. Yeah. So we just went straight for the food. <laughs> yeah, we were like both hungry, so we picked up loads of food. There's loads of stuff over there. Isn't it, DJ? So we're home from the Hawaiian Tropic event and Carrie's staying over tonight because we have an event with Barry M tomorrow morning but mainly because you might have seen if you follow Carrie on TikTok we did a murder mystery cold case night a couple of weeks ago and we absolutely loved it so you can get these on TikTok shop I will leave a link down below so you can go have a look but they basically do like fake cold cases. We, I think we used the same brand before, the Cryptic Killers one, and they literally have everything in this evidence bag. There's like receipts, actual like fake case file notes. We logged into like a fake police email system last time to find out evidence. And then basically you go on the website and type in who you think the killer is. And then they tell you if you got it right, but it's done so well. And such a bargain for 20 pounds i think i got this for 18 because they sometimes do deals on this one is the murder at the movie theater and it looks very very fun there's like a whole newspaper in there what else i'm just trying to see if there's anything different from last time what? murder has it been took us committed. three hours last time yeah as three of us it took us three hours do you want a snack up yeah we basically got bought out the whole it's of co -op. 17 pounds on snacks yeah. co-op's quite pricey though i always think that yeah I don't think Deals. Charlotte's favourite. And eight cocktail Pringles. Yeah. What a dog. No, that's not proper. We bought nearly gone. Practically gone. Yeah. Thought we'd come off fudge munchies. Bortizas. Jesus. Twelve like. An exciting one. If you thought we were getting more of them. Oh, they're mega. I like. The, I like the salt chocolate thing. Mm. I'm a fan of that. Yeah. I quite like making these myself. Like buying a bag of pretzels and like tipping them in. Mmm. Mm. Real good. I seen that. You'll like this. I seen a TikTok about it. M and S selling strawberries with a chocolate dipping pot. Mm, no. Is everyone ready? A murder has been committed in a port town on Fidalgo Island in America's Pacific Northwest. Movie theatre owner Chris Hodgson was found dead in his office with multi, multi, multiple lacerations to the chest and a slit throat. The evidence has been collected for you. Yeah. It's your job to piece it together and work out who it was that killed Mr. Hodgson. We'll let you know if this one meets the same expectations as the first one that we did. What was the first one we did? What was the theme? Just murder a millionaire. I'm murdering of a millionaire. Excited. So we're at um, Co Box with Barry M this morning for a boxing class, our first ever boxing class. So we're just about to find out how to wrap our hands with these bands and go join. We're bags number what, 12 and 13? boxing class was so fun but probably one of the most challenging classes I've ever done I definitely want to go again though and then it was time to leave Carrie and I headed to Camden to meet my boyfriend for a little haircut Chop Chop had a new salon launching in the middle of Camden Market it was such a sunny amazing day as well here's my dusty hair before so happy with the final results they were doing like express services got to cuddle a little dog whilst I was waiting for the others to have their hair done Hi people, so it is now Thursday. I'm just off for a little catch up. I'm in my cherry dress, it's absolutely boiling outside. So we're coming out without any cardi, even though I'm staying out until this evening. Could be a risk, but I feel like summer is finally here in London. So I'm wearing these little chunky platforms, cherry dress and my bright colorful crochet bag. Um, so everything's mismatched, everything's a pattern, but I absolutely love it. It's making me happy. I'm gonna get the bus just so that I can do some editing and emails above ground. I'm leaving slightly earlier than I usually would. I do this quite a lot because I prefer the bus. I like being out in the open. I get to sightsee, also be able to work. And it also like slows my day down a bit. Sometimes when I get on the tube, I'm like, fuck me, I'm, it's, it's all a rush. So it's nice to leave a little bit earlier, have a slower journey and still be able to like work at the same time. I don't know. Let's go, we're going to grind London Bridge. <laughs> Feeling really main character walking across London Bridge on my own. I just had a lovely coffee with Nia and Kira and now I'm heading Jack and Ellie are actually in Central, so I'm gonna go meet them. I would ideally walk to meet them. It would probably take me like 45 minutes. 
but my legs are chafing really badly from yesterday so I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it <laughs> and I stupidly wore a dress I literally even have cycling shorts and under here um, and I thought they were gonna save me and they haven't they I'm still in agony so I'm gonna just jump on the tube or the bus hi guys it's Friday and I'm ending my working week with some podcasts interviewing Eleanor Hall who actually went to uni with me and I'm just setting up my Zencaster situation because Zoom has let me down way too many times now. <laughs> uh, invite. Hello. Hello everyone and welcome back to It's Your Life and This Is Mine, the podcast with your host, Charlotte Emily Price. Guys, I feel like I want to apologize for this vlog. It is so shit, isn't it? I'm so sorry about that. I think I had a lot of things going on in June that maybe stopped me from filming as consistently. So I'm really sorry. But this vlog is actually from multiple weeks ago in June. I feel like I'm in a much better headspace now. I feel like I'm feeling a lot better, less crazy and overworked. I'm about to go on holiday to Mexico, so you're about to see some fun travel vlogs. Come back to my channel. Um, yeah, really sorry for neglecting my YouTube. I think other things got in the way. My mum has been um, into surgery and had a lot more complications than we thought that was gonna happen. So I think that might be <laughs> one of the many reasons why this vlog took a weird turn. So yeah, I'm sending lots of love to all of you. Thank you for very much for watching this, even though I know it was not the best. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to get some content out before I go on holiday and I'm I, I'm just I'm just excited. So me and Aiden are basically going to Mexico for our anniversary. It's our 10 year anniversary, oh, which is just absolutely mental. Like I cannot believe we've been together for 10 years. It's making me feel old, even though I'm literally only 24. But yeah, so you'll see all of the Mexico adventures. We're going to the East Coast. When I first ever started my channel, I don't even know if it's on this one or my vlog channel. I actually did a Mexico vlog um, and it was one of our first ever holidays. So it's quite funny that we're going back there, but we're going to a completely different area. We're going to Tulum on the East Coast. So, ah, I'm so excited. So yeah, you'll see that vlog soon. It's actually a really relaxing, all-inclusive holiday. So I don't know how much I'm going to film because it'll probably be very samey, samey day in, day out. But I'm going to still vlog it regardless because I love those travel memories and also to give you guys recommendations of places to go if it is nice. So yeah, sending you all the love. Make sure you go follow me on Instagram and TikTok as I'll be uploading there already before you see the next co vlog. If you do want more, I'm hoping you're all well and thriving and got some nice hard plans in store or you're having some relaxing time off from work and I will see you very soon for a brand new video.